Arsenal bodybuilding channel Logo? is here. We're back. We're back. With yeah. Chelsea Dion, female bodybuilder, Miss Olympia athlete twice, mm -hmm. two pro show wins. Yes. Yep. And we just had an epic celebration of female muscle. JB, how was your Rising Phoenix weekend? No, how was your Rising Phoenix uh, experience? Okay, my experience, uh, yeah, after, except my birthday party. <laughs> um, birthday party? When was your birthday? Yeah. On the 22nd. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Really? Oh. It was, it was a, turning... uh, it, it's also the same date of Jake Wood and Iris Kyle. Oh, wow. wow. So you are, that's that's a good bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, um, yeah, um, I switched in on the live stream and um, I was very surprised. The quality was awesome, a little bit overcolored, but uh, very nice pictures. Um, and the athletes were stunning from place 12 to 1. Oh, I was very stunned. It was a very, very good Rising Phoenix, and every athlete was very supposed to be there. So I was blown away. For me, it was fantastic because finally I can see the best of the best. I'm yeah. really into women's bodybuilding, but I'm even more into women's bodybuilding when it's the best of the best. And <laughs> Rising Phoenix is the best of the best. Tons of great athletes, the routines, uh, just everything about it. It's just like we were celebrating women's bodybuilding. I was up. I was drinking vodka. I was crying at the end because I got... Anyway, we can talk about that. Chelsea, you were there. As an off-season mold, you saw a lot of shredded ass. You're not shredded at the moment, but you saw it. What was you going through your mind as an off-season athlete, looking at all the shredded girls? Well, first, I was really excited that I was not in the show, the show, oh. because <laughs> what a what a great group of women. Very competitive, beautiful. They all showed up and showed out, and it was just nice to sit back and watch my division just kill it hmm. they really brought it they were so beautiful and wings of strength show the rising phoenix is just hands down the greatest show that we can have for women's bodybuilding and they take such great care of us even me as not a competitor this weekend they took care of me as well and um i was really glad that i could be there and, and take some photos backstage so and what's very important, it's very personal cost, especially for JB and myself. We we are deep pain when we see the shitty $2,000 prize money. But JB, 50000 And not only that, second place, twenty five, Most muscular, 7005 A little bit, Chelsea. How does that make you feel when you put so much effort into something and you get 2000 It's not a good feeling. But to have the opportunity... I know it's the title, but to see fifty thousand dollars and even third place, mm -hmm. seven thousand five, and best posing, and talk to us a little bit as an athlete. How much more validated do you feel for all your hard work when you can actually pay for your flights and uh, your hotel? <laughs> right, it it does feel really good, but it also kind of makes me wish that there was just a little bit more in the regular shows. Yeah. You know the the rising phoenix is one time a year and the caliber of women is so high that you know you have to work super hard to get those placings to win those checks which you know we should all be doing but i just wish that our normal shows were just a little bit more money that so we could just break even at least because you know we all go into these shows losing money even when we win yes, um, yes. Last, last year i won seven thousand in the span of two weeks and that literally went to just the bills to pay for spain and Rising Phoenix, and it just went through my hands like water. So it is nice that we have this opportunity to win big cash money, you know, best poser, you tons of money in that, the um, most muscular. So it's it's a great show. I wish they'd bring the car back, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, hey, hey, Jake Wood, this has to give away a lot of money now, but I see. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going into the event. We're going to talk about all the positive things we saw and a little bit why they're placed, where they're placed. First of all, JB, I have never seen... No, we're going to go last and to the first, last place, Julia Fury. Oh. Uh, she's JB, a fan JB. favorite, JB, because yeah. of the size. Uh, JB discovered her 
And then he told me, AJ, look, it's Julia Fury. I put her on muscular development when they didn't promote any girls because we were instantly in love with the size. Yeah. She came out, same as always, tremendous size, beautiful, feminine, crazy wow. size. But the condition was not there, JB. What can we do? Uh, we always talked about coaches, but I don't think that helps. <laughs> um, no. I think, um, yeah, it's. I think it's about the timing. She's um, she's prepping well. She's training hard as as wild. Uh, she lift heavy as AF, <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But I think uh, it's just about the timing and the right mindset on the right timing. So it, yeah. I hope she, and, yeah, she's still young, so she can do it. What do you do? What do you think, Chelsea? Chelsea, what do you saw first of all? How impressive is her? You competed against her in Spain. Yes, yeah. Um, Julia and I actually went to dinner after the show. Mm. And we chatted and I, I told her, I'm like, you know, you have all the potential. Then everybody says, oh, if Julia would just come in conditioned, she would be a killer. Yeah. And she knows that. And so, you know, we, me and my boyfriend sat down and talked to her and because she's also my teammate, you mm. know, with our mm. coach. Mm. And I'm like, OK, so, you know, what's going on? Like, what do you think is stopping you from getting this conditioning that you need? And so we kind of just talked about it. And I, I really think she needs a full a year to work on reducing cardio, increasing the calories, staying in a surplus, and then starting prep fresh. You mm -hmm. know, she's competing every single year. She also needs to like, just get her, she needs to find a new place to live. I think she needs to come to the States. She needs to be somewhere where she is more accepted. And I just think it would be better for her. But, uh, but more it, accepted. When you say that there's a lot of athletes who have no support in Europe and they get shredded. I know, but I, you know, sometimes people just need a little bit of support from just the environment that you're in. It doesn't, you don't have to have somebody with you to support you. But when you feel like ev when you go outside and everybody is against you and staring at you and not accepting of you, like that's got to make you feel some type of way. JB, yeah. we, we, no one has promoted Julia Fury more than us. Uh, yeah. We just, we just for once, <laughs> we just want it anyway. Yeah, eleventh place would be, would, be, would be very sad when when she's uh, moving to US. So she's, she's far away. <laughs> yeah, well, that eleventh <laughs> place, JB, age fifty nine, and she was better than she was in twenty twenty two. Yeah, Con conditioning was better. Her upper body, all yeah. frustrations. She's still feminine. Yeah. She still can beat Julie. Well, she beat one girl, but she could have placed higher, in my opinion. We can go more into that later. But everything was there for Irene Anderson, JB. Yeah. It's impressive. Age 59 and get better, correct? Uh, yeah, I was very um, yeah surprised in a, in a good way. Me too. Uh, what I saw. And uh, I didn't saw uh, any uh, negative points. Some yes, but uh, I don't say it now. Uh, but um, she was really improved for the last time, and uh, yeah, really sad. The judges maybe did not see her right. I don't know. Chelsea, yeah. what do you think? You are young. You have not seen any girls at that age doing what she's doing in women's bodybuilding, and she also wow. has the same. Height. She's not like this little girl. You know, the taller you are, the easier things can fall apart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> impressive, Chelsea. Isn't she for 59? So impressive. And I told her backstage, I said, Irene, amazing. Yeah. A lot of, you know, as we get older, some of the women might take a year off and they come back and it's not the same. It's, you know, a little different. Maybe the skin's different, stuff like that. But she looks so good and I've always been a fan of her and not, she's just such a beautiful face, these piercing eyes. And she's like, a, she was like a superhero backstage, you know, when she's looking at herself in the mirror and I, I really enjoy Irene's physique. JB, she's the only female that no other female is talking bad about her yeah. personality. <laughs> she's yeah. the only one that's universally loved uh, the problem or the issue is an age-related thing, in my opinion. It's the hams, glutes. They're not like, uh, you know what I mean? 
And I don't think this is a conditioning issue. I don't think she needs to be any leaner because then the arms and legs can disappear. Uh, she's going in Romania versus Julia Fury. She just beat Julia Fury here. And with traveling Chelsea, they're still in America. I saw Julia yeah. Fury doing photo shoots and I see the girl. They're not, they're not going to be any better condition yeah. in one week. No. Uh, Julia Fury, Irene Anderson, the rematch. Does Ju can Julia with a different eye? Because the condition is going to be the same. Can Julia beat Irene in Romania if they bring the same package with different eyes? I don't think so. No. No. I, I want to say yes, but she just needs to fix it. She needs to figure something out. Because I want to see her come at her most conditioned, most shredded I want to see that. We all want to see that. The fans want to see that, you know? Even me as her competitor and friend, I want to see that for her because she, she deserves to reach that point in her career where she can say, I finally showed everybody that I could get conditioned, you know? And I want that. JB, yeah. uh, give me your opinion. Uh, I saw Roshana Boswell. She looks very good. She looks very similar. Uh, slightly more thickness in my opinion in the back and small point i think her glutes were shaped a little bit nicer but the little out of size she might have sacrificed a little bit of the conditioning from i yeah. saw at master olympia and Tariq el gundi who has an excellent eye for at least what needs to be improved he said on the commentary that she was in worse condition here than she was at the master olympia but he saw new size jb what did you see um, I I expected more. I expected more uh, because um, I saw yeah always the illusion of Instagram, but um, on the on the uh, on the off season pictures or on the prep pictures, she saw she looked oh, very very good. The shape was good, the condition was good, but on stage I don't know something I missed. So um, sad to see. In, in a different way so but so I, she was great but you expected yeah. a little bit more is what you're saying yeah more more fuller more details yeah chelsea you saw her live in the flesh take mm -hmm. back um for me Rashana always kind of brings the same kind of look same kind of package mm -hmm. conditioning and everything so to me it was just the same as always which is always also very impressive she's very athletic looking um, you know, she's got the great abs, her, her legs from the front looked really good, very thick, um, just needed a little more separation, I think in the quads, mm. but they still looked very big and full. Mm. So mm. it is a similar package, correct? Yeah, I think so. Very, very similar as to what I'm used to seeing of her. So to improve JB, this is not like women's bodybuilding 2020, 2021. We have a much higher level now. The girls yeah. are much better, much bigger, much better condition, more separation, more yeah. lines. So for her to to win shows now, because she, she was just 10th out of 12, something new needs to be done. Yeah, that's definitely. You said it. Uh, the, the separation is the point and uh, more fullness, I expect. Mm. In ninth place, Julia Witzel. She did climb a little bit in the finals. Uh, people have to remember, she just started women's bodybuilding. Women's bodybuilding is not bikini. It doesn't happen overnight. She was just women's physique the other day. And she has won some easier shows. Uh, going to the Olympia, uh, making her like a big name, like right off the start. Maybe yeah. not being tested with all the best all the time. She comes in, great legs. Conditioning is good. Uh, she looks really good. Yeah. It's just, she doesn't look confident to me on stage, JB. Yeah. And the tan, once again, is off. And uh, it's just the separation in the arms. A little bit like, uh, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to, but the presentation, JB. Does she lose some spots because of the presentation? JB. Mm, yes. And uh, <laughs> like, Chelsea agrees with me. Um, I think uh, it's very small points. Um, some uh, on the front double biceps pose, for example, more a little bit more going in into the into the arms, arms. getting more out, getting more fuller. Uh, in the back pose, also the same, little more back, uh, more show. But because she has the mass, she has the condition, she has the uh, 
all the separation she has, um, but she didn't couldn't bring it in the no. in the good way. So mm. yeah. What do you think, Chelsea? She did beat um uh, Roshana, an Olympian athlete. What yeah. what do you think about Julia Witzel? I am also a fan of her physique. I was a fan of it when she also did women's physique. But there's just something they need to figure out, whether it comes to the peaking yeah. or the tan. There's just something that's not right. It it's like her lower body is comes conditioned. Like her hamstrings are one of the best on stage, in my opinion. You could see the guitar strings in them, and her legs from the front are great. But somewhere something happens to where the upper body looks a little watery in a way. Um, so once she can fix that, it'll be a dramatic improvement. But also the stage presence, stage mm -hmm. presence. Um, very important. It's like she almost kind of gets on stage and kind of like goes into a shell, you know. Um, and fixing her front double bicep pose would really help. JB kind of mentioned that. But I also think she turns a little too far yeah. to the side. You know, we're not getting that front shot where we can see the beautiful <laughs> shape of her muscles. She kind of does herself a disservice by turning so much away from the judges in that pose. Yeah. Well, also, we hope uh, I also recognize that uh, on the on the corner, as a, on the on the outside of the stage, the lighting was not that optimal. So, mm. yeah. yeah. JB, next one. I have two posters in my living room. Three. <laughs> one is the Backstreet Boys, as you know. The two <laughs> others is Lavinia Burrows and Andrea Shaw. Lavinia Burrows, seventh place. JB. Big delts, yeah. crazy arms, back is back double by oh. exploding legs, like a like a supermodel. The waist she has a little it reminds me a little bit sometimes about Chelsea Dion in the shape, yeah. you know, in, in some of the poses. Tremendous thickness, only twenty seven. JB, she was off, but to me, she <laughs> was a star. JB, yeah. how why do you like Lavinia Barros? Um. From the reasons you said, uh, yeah. she's very uh, she's she was very full, um, good 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 presence on stage, but um, like we predicted before, the, yeah. the detail, the details, the details. Yeah. Not the really. glutes and hams were not in. Yeah, we're not in. Uh, um, a little bit on the, on the shoulders and on the on the front side, um, the abs okay, but also on the on the back details were okay, but uh, the legs. <laughs> No, not really. And uh, in the comparisons, you saw it. She, she could uh, go. Uh, she went under. So, um, sadly. Chelsea. Uh, one quick question. Mm -hmm. She started prepping. In no, she did Romania 2024, mm -hmm. meaning she started prep probably a couple of months before that. Then she did stayed on prep, and then did the New York Pro. Mm -hmm. And then she stayed on prep and done the Rising Phoenix. And then she's going to stay on prep to the Olympia. In my books, that's like 12, 13 months of being in calorie. Of course, there's probably been a month there where the calories are up. Yeah. Cardio, the supplementation that's needed, the deficit. Uh, is it? Was she peaked, for it, by the way? Um, I'm not sure if she was peaked, like they peaked her, but she was definitely not at her best. No. Almost a little tired looking, mm. the, the body. But what if she could just take a little break? <laughs> well, she can't now because Olympia. No, but. Olympia. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, this is a game, a game of strategy. And you have to be strategic with what shows you do. And at the end, if you if you put yourself in too many positions, your body is going to fight you at some point. I mean, I felt it. Christina has felt it. So, you know, you have to be smart. Could it? Uh, oh. Could yeah. it help that she uh, has to do a little less photo shoots and so something else? I mean, I'm not sure if she, you know, what she's doing as far as photo shoots and stuff, but that's not going to affect her being even more tired. I mean, if the body's tired already. Yeah. You know. hmm. uh, how impressive is it at have that physique at age 27 though oh my god so impressive she is so thick and dense it's like crazy it is absolutely crazy how round she is too this is uh can you beat her if you both are on 
I will absolutely be here, yes. Oh, then, hey, JB. <laughs> what question? <laughs> JB? I mean, are, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's good. You got <laughs> JB? Yep. I cried almost <laughs> when, <laughs> when Selika turned to Jesus. I think it was or the heaven. <laughs> I know you're a... Uh, but, and she did the posing. First of all, that was routine of the night. I don't agree. That, that she was second. By the way, <laughs> JB, Selika, she was big. She was shredded. She was, most importantly, she was improved. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why, what's the point of competing if you're not getting improved from show to show. She was improved. She was round. She had the structure. I had her higher, by the way. She was tremendous. Yeah. JB, why did you fall in love with Selika? Uh, I, fall in, I fell in love uh, before you yeah, okay that's <laughs> yeah. true yeah <laughs> and um no as has her structure her ability to gain mass and uh, the details is uh, phenomenal in such a short, short time and uh yeah and also on the rising phoenix on this weekend um oh. she was tremendous um i told you in private <laughs> and um yeah so um blah. I was very astounded. Uh, I think it was a little bit um, negative points about her shape because she, she was maybe too massive, I, I think. Too massive in women's bodybuilding with tight abs? Impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, some judges have uh, her prototype of the shape in mind. So um, <laughs> it wasn't there, I think. Maybe. Uh, yeah, okay. I think uh, Chelsea, you saw her. Mm -hmm. What do you think? We, we, we haven't seen her live, sadly, JB and myself. Yeah. What do you think about her and the posing and the most muscular and the abs and the 3D pop? Oh, my gosh. So I was kind of off to the side shooting while she was doing her final oh, no. routine. And I was like emotional just watching her. And that's the type of performance that you want to give. She yeah. brought like emotion out of me. And I was just like so mesmerized by her her um like stage presence and just how connected she was to the music and it was such a great routine and on top of that like she is absolutely thick as hell on top like so impressive i competed against her at nationals yeah. where she I was, was nowhere near like this no she wasn't and she no. was <laughs> She was wearing this shirt at check-ins that said, like, where's the beef? And I'm like, yeah. that is the most fitting shirt for you because you have just completely transformed her upper body. Like, I, I can see it right now. It's just so, it's almost like a guy's in a way, but in a good way. Like, she's yeah. just the big lats, those, her arms, crazy impressive. She's just, and her personality is just so sweet. I got to get to know her a little bit more this weekend, and she's awesome. JB, she's my breakout performer of this Rising Phoenix, sure. by the way. Yeah. yeah. Mine too. Yeah. 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 Uh, we have to, before we go to ACOG, we forgot someone. We, we've been sorry because I just sent her a DM and said, you are the future with some new tricks. <laughs> JB, in eight, I have not seen these beautiful lines since Sean Ray. Tell me, JB, Sheena Oleg, even though she got eight, JB. This is 90s bodybuilding, thin yeah. skin, beautiful abs, like Sean Ray, Kevin Lironi. <laughs> what do you think about Sheena, JB? Um, Sheena impressed me also the last contest, I told you. And um, mm. yeah, I think she's a little bit um, underrated by the judges because she is, uh, yeah, a little bit, she reminds me a little bit on um, Lisa Lewis back then of her shape and um okay, a little bit yeah of her proportions with, with, the, with the lads and the the, 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 the small ways and the, and the and the thighs and so on so and she's also not the, the smallest one and uh, yeah i was i was kind of very pleased to see her but uh, yeah a little, little bit lack of conditions the desperations were not there so chelsea uh sheena talk to us what, how was she live I told her backstage that this was the best package I've seen from her. Okay, great. Um, yeah. as, as from everything, the conditioning, the fullness, the hair, the makeup, the look. She is one of my most favorite people. Um, very athletic looking. 
very, very athletic. She looks like she could get off stage and go run a track, you know, run track yeah. with everybody. <laughs> and yeah. That's what I love about her physique because it's, it's just very athletic and a- appealing to the eye. Hmm. JB, one thing that's important now, because that's for her future. Yes, she is tremendous top model beauty. Yes. But you don't win any shows on that without one thing, JB, and that's size. Size is women's bodybuilding. I don't care how much you slice and dice. If you want to win, if you want to go to the Olympia, if you want to be top three at rising, no beauty can ever get you into the top three alone. The plan now, Tariq on the commentary said she needs size. I love Tariq on the commentary because he gave constructive criticism and not just, oh, you're beautiful, because that's not going to do anything to get better. She needs size, JB, to be in the top three at the O, just like Chelsea needs size to be the top three at the O. If you want to be top seven, good, good. But if you want to be top three, you need size. Chelsea, yeah, so, she needs size, correct? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so, just a little uh, bit. Tariq is just yeah. copy us. <laughs> no, yeah. no. So the plan is Sorry, yeah. she's Sorry, taking ahead. a year off to build size. Then. Yes. Uh, I'll miss her on stage next year, though, with me. <laughs> uh, well, you have to be worried about her in 2026 now because she's going to come back with you in size. No, yeah, that's but... fine. I'm not worried. <laughs> uh, top six, ACOC, JB, once again, uh, fantastic. But I think she was better at last show. I... In fifth place, why are you so into ACOG this year? Uh, because she improved a, a, a lot, the, the, the legs were exploding, and um, uh, yeah, she, she brought the ACOG ish readiness and um, and and the size she built up when you see the, the bag, <laughs> it's exploding, it was so nice to see. Yeah, agree. She always what's so good about her is that. She maximizes her, uh, what she has to work with, you know, genetics. Yeah. She has maximized, maximized it 10 out of 10. Like, you, you can't get any, like, of course, you could put a little bit more on, but we'll see. But, like, she's brought up everything for that frame to make it as deadly as it can with the conditioning. Yeah. And if you come to a show versus ACOC, you will soft. You will get exposed. <laughs> uh, Chelsea. And also, her mom is tremendous. <laughs> oh, <she's so> sweet. <laughs> Chelsea, ACOC, how impressive is it to sit there and see when she turns around, especially, and you see those Derek Lunsford glutes? Yeah, all those lines in them and stuff. What do you see? What do you see when you get, when you sit close to the shredded ass? What are you thinking then? I mean, that looks crazy. It's yes. definitely, she brings better conditioning than most men. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and just to look back at her journey as a pro, if you look at her photos when she was a women's physique competitor, you would think her legs were Photoshopped to be small. I know, I know. Crazy legs. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> mm, I know. It's crazy the things that she has done to her physique, like completely has transformed her legs, her back, everything. And it's impressive because she shows up to every show conditioned. You are never, you never think, oh, you know, Michaela might be a little soft. No, you never oh, think that. Oh, never. You, know, you think, oh shit, Michaela's here. She's <laughs> gonna be the most conditioned one out of the show. Yeah. That is one of when I go to bed at night, that's what I'm praying for Chelsea Dion to be remembered as, by the way. Each <laughs> time Chelsea Dion goes to the show. She's on. You can book it. JB, yeah. imagine <laughs> Chelsea Dion with, with the... Tr- anyway, yeah. <laughs> let's go into Sherry Priami. Yeah. Uh, JB, when I met Priami in Portugal, I was impressed. When I saw her in Chicago on the stream, she got better. Yeah. And now, last show before the Olympia, she was full as a house. She was peeled. She was shredded. And, yeah. most, and, and she's also sharing content on Instagram, she's okay. sending videos, she's smiling. She was on stage, JB, insane condition. But also, the coach, the plan, it worked. 
You see, this is not just it, the fullness. You know, it's something a coach needs to do, and he did it, and it worked. Yeah. This is a real super coach, and we saw the results. Tremendous package, JB. Yeah. Age 49. What do you think about Sherry? Yeah. Like you said, uh, Stefan says, and uh, Sherry executes. Um, boom. boom, and just and it works <laughs> like it did. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, it was, um, yeah, I saw her on stage, um, and uh, I was very surprised, pleased. She had this uh, upper body, like I said, uh, this uh, boop, 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 everybody the back, double everything was there, and uh, everything appeared hard and shredded, and um, yeah. And uh, there's some, something about the posing um, for uh, turn out the good sides more, sides more. But uh, oh, I was, yeah, I was blown away like the whole, whole lineup. <laughs> I Chelsea, yeah. Priyami, what do you think? Solid fourth place? Well, she just continues to keep putting size on, which is crazy yeah. impressive. And like you said, at her age and I said to her at the Meet the Olympia Battles, I'm like, it's crazy that you keep coming in with seven pounds here, seven pounds there in a very short amount of time. And mm -hmm. she's someone who is continuing to climb and to continue to get better. So she is very dangerous. And Sherry is someone that I, I you know, I, I'm worried about her. So, um, so yeah, she's continuing to get. Are you going to lose to a 50-year-old? Yeah, I, <laughs> hey, her hey, and I, hey, hey, stop. When her and I have been competing out. against each other, it's been very, it's either her or me. It's like I beat her, she beats me. She beats me, I beat her. So we're very, like, kind of neck and neck. Um, but obviously, with Olympia, she's placed fourth last year and stuff. So she's got her up on me, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> and not just that, very beautiful look on stage. She always is very put together. She shows up to check ins looking amazing. And, oh, and she me, stole the very, show with the check ins. Yeah, yeah. And that, to me, that's very important as well. I like to go dressed up. I always wear heels, a little dress, you know. Um, and I love that she does that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, JB, first of all, uh, we want to thank Amazon Fitness, our main sponsor, and yes. he's super excited about this one. JB, we predicted top three. Not this result, though. I didn't, but Andrea, Angie, and we predicted Ashley Young yeah. to be yeah. top three. Why? Muscle belly, structure, a new face. Uh, heavily promoted, uh, beautiful, uh, a rare find, a gem. Yeah. And during prejudging, I had a heart attack because <laughs> yes. I saw the great Andrea Shaw and Angio were not in the middle. Ashley Young, Ashley yeah. Jones was in the middle of the first call out, and I saw structure was the best. Yeah. I saw quads was the best. Yeah. JB, what did you see? Ashley, Ashley Jones. Ashley, I think, yeah. Like you said, it was she was the star of the of the pre judging. Uh, and um <clears throat> yeah, well deserved that she was on the middle. Um yeah, she, she brought everything. Like I told before the shows before, she had best details uh on her shape, on her glorious shape, this uh um, our class, you can say, yeah, yeah, our class. And um, what can I say? Look at it, you see it right now. Wow, yeah, mm. no words. <laughs> but Chelsea, you see? you've been at many shows, uh, mm -hmm. like us and JB. And when you see her, what separates her from your regular pro that's working hard, of course, and doing all the things that's needed? What's so special about? This genetic, this structure, what's different than the average great pro? She's very round, very bubbly. Um, That's it. It's just very, it's the glutes and the legs, the quads are very, there's a big sweep. Um, beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, what I do want to say, though, I feel like the stream made everybody look a little harder than they were. Yep. Um, being because I was right there, I was sitting right in front of the judges for um pre judging and stuff. And Ashley's very round, like I said, but there was just it was a little soft. It's, it mm -hmm. just it's like it was smooth, 
mm-hmm. in a way, but it still was very impressive. You know what I mean? But yeah. there's just that little bit of softness on top of her. Yeah. It, if she just comes in a little bit crispier, it's going to be really, really dangerous for, for Andrea, I think. Can, it, can, it, and can, that's, it, can, can can that be fixed with uh, a different tan or something? Or is... no, no, it's like there's you could see there's just a little bit on top of the muscle, mm-hmm. okay. just a little bit. Um, Andrea had it too. Andrea didn't come in her best, uh-huh. um, not the show, but that's okay. You know, I think it kind of lit a fire under Andrea, so I'm excited to see what uh-huh. the Olympics gonna look like. But um, yeah, Ashley, I just remember looking. Because I was a, a little worried for Andrea because yeah. of Ashley. I was like, oh, wow. Because yeah. there's some things that Ashley has that I feel she had an edge over Andrea. But then Andrea has some things over Ashley. Um, but yeah, they very, very, very great showing for Ashley. We saw the pictures. I got a lot of pictures from people in the audience. And they told me, JB, uh, AJ, Ashley is not on. I said, what do you mean? Looks good to him. He sent me the pictures. I said, oh, okay. She was clearly not on. She was clearly not as good as New York Pro at all. You yeah. saw that, that it was something Abs going on. Were a little soft Abs too. were washed out. Or... And she still got top three. She yeah. not on Ashley. Beat a peak to the bone, Sherry. A crazy shredded Acock uh, off Burroughs. And... She beat Priyami and Acock, who were 10 out of 10 on, being a little bit off. Imagine with seven more weeks, the damage she can do at the O. If she can just dial in better conditioning and no funky business at the last peak week. Mm -hmm. Come in with the, hopefully Andrew Wu will be, was he at the Rising Phoenix? I don't think so. I... I didn't really see many people. Oh, okay. I was so busy. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it helps to have the coach at the event. He will be there, obviously, with Natalia Coelho and Jessica Padilla and all those. He's preparing. Teresa, so yeah. It's going to be crazy. So for people who think Ashley can win the Olympia, I see no reason why she cannot if she can peak. Do you believe so, Chelsea? If she can peak, can it be she... done? I at this like... Olympia. I don't know about this Olympia because I need to see what she looks like once she's crazy conditioned because, you know, that the look might change a little bit. The roundness might not be as round and, you know, because sometimes when you sacrifice the conditioning, you sacrifice the the size and the fullness. Yes. So um, I'm very excited to kind of see what could happen for sure. JB, uh, I know you're an Angie fan. I am Andrea Shaw. I'm a fan of everyone, of course, but yeah. Andrea is very special to my heart, as you know. And uh, Angie is special to your heart, as I know. Yeah. During the comparisons, the first second I saw it, I said, I can't believe what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing Angie winning. Yeah. And I never say that. And I, I saw it instantly in the comparisons. They were next to each other. I'm like, oh, sh- Andrea is not on. Sh- Angie's healed and bigger, and she has uh, her symmetry has changed. Yeah. Round. Oh, JB, talk yeah. to us. When you saw Angie in her presentation, mm-hmm. what, what, what did you see? Um, from the last. Uh... Time we talked, Angie and me, and uh, also the the pictures I saw. She sent me. Uh, I, I still could say, okay, there's a chance to win it, and but on stage, then, um, yeah, she has. What I can say, <laughs> she I was, was there and she <laughs> blown. Yeah, yeah, no, it's the same thing. <laughs> um, yeah, it was crazy, bro. Yeah. She, she was so ready to win it, and uh, you can you saw it. It's, watch there. It's now now it's running, and uh, yeah, Chelsea, tell me. <laughs> I have no word. Chelsea, <laughs> first of all, her legs were better, correct? The sweep. Oh my god! The she, arms were bigger, correct? Her glute. You could see her glutes from the front. Yeah. Like when she walked out. And then when they did that, you know, when they do the first run through, because she was already standing next to Andrea. 
it, I knew it was done. It was undeniable. Uh, Angela was undeniable. And wow. that's what you need to beat someone like Andrea. How was the audience, Chelsea? What did the audience say? Because you know when you see that shows, you do hear people say, whoa, bro, it's over. Or not. Did the audience instantly like, whoa, it's a wrap? I also, I'm not sure because I was in front of the judges. So everybody was behind us, but there was a lot. Just when Angie kind of walks on stage, she has this mystique and this like yeah. almost personality that comes out that's so heavy metal is it like jb what do you call it's... is it goth what is it jb what is this type of dark what is it called uh, she's a type of goth yeah okay yeah it's just so, i love it it's so mysterious i tell her i'm like you're so mysterious i love it <laughs> but she was just her absolute best and you cannot deny that mm -hmm. at all uh the great andrea shaw we gotta speak about her yeah Everything that we love about Andre uh, Yashaw was there. I, I don't I don't know if she was really that much softer than she usually is at rising because she never really peaks at JB. She never really peaks that much at rising. Was this how she usually looks at rising? But Angie was so much better than she was before. Or yeah. was Andrea so off no. that Angie's tremendous improvements made it worse? What do you think, JB? I think uh, the, the original plan from, of Andrea was uh, to peak at the Olympia. And, um, but against but, the Angie, though, why yeah, would you do let, What let, plan let, is that? Yeah, let, let, let me talk. Let me talk. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, it was, uh, yeah. And Rhea knew that she has to uh, bring some kind of condition to to win the show because I think in her in her mind was I have to do it again and again and again so I can can uh, have that, that this uh, kind of say this um, quadlet the wins and um, also yeah nobody wants uh, to to miss the prize money um, but um, I think her, her goal was to peak on the Olympia so she wasn't. They were supposed to go that far with a with a condition. To uh, what do you think, Chelsea? You saw her at last rising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Compare that package to this. Was it very similar? Wasn't it? I mean, I think she was definitely more conditioned last year. Okay, really. Okay, just a little bit because from the back, the the glutes and like the hamstrings weren't as detailed really as they were. Because I was right there. Is there any improvements in her physique though? Um, I mean, from what I can tell, like, not really, but that's not, I mean, I just don't analyze her physique as much as maybe I, I should. No, you shouldn't because you're just, an, you should only focus exactly. on yourself. But exactly. I just know her as being the best. And JB, did you see any, like, we saw tremendous improvements in Angie. It was clear yeah. as night and day. We yeah. saw in crazy improvements in Sherry Puyami from last year. Yeah. And we saw, uh, good improvements from ACOG from last year. Yeah. Have we seen improvements in Andre? Forget about the fat percentage. The body is it different? Uh, different, not. Is it a, better? Is it yet. more width? Is it more yeah, round? Yeah, yeah. Is it more detail? Is it anything new? Uh, I think she improved on the shoulders. That was okay. interesting to me. Um, not that not that big roundy bubbly stuff like uh, can uh, bottles. Um, yeah, like Claudia Profanta in the back days. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, she had improved in shoulders and she, um, yes, I th mm. yeah, this was a little bit what I sort of saw. I expected a little bit more um, this, uh, this sweep in the lats. Okay. That wasn't there improving since last time. Mm -hmm. But maybe she can bring it a little bit more when she can more. Um, yeah, when she a little bit more uh, gets uh, conditioned, I think. JB, when they gave Andrea Shaw the most muscular, even though she's not the most... Mu Chelsea, most muscular award. For for men, us men, that... Fu well, for we've seen every muscular award in Arnold Classic history. It's mm -hmm. either the biggest guy on stage or the person with most muscle per height, you know, like a Branch Warren. Yeah. Or it's the combination of... That 
You can be like Virginia Sanchez, who's maybe not the biggest, but it's that grainy peeled. He hits the most. You know, mm -hmm. to me, uh, Andrea does, has none of those. She's not like the best at those types. She didn't even win mm -hmm. any shows being the most muscular person. Mm -hmm. When she got that, I knew this is your sorry. <laughs> she won it last year, too. Yeah, I know. I know. But. Yeah. <laughs> So I thought well, I last knew. year she was going to lose too because I was like, oh my God. They just yeah, gave but it this time it was it, when they gave it this time. <laughs> yeah. It was Harry 7,005. It's because we're going to give you another 25. That's 32. and That's not bad. That's 32,500. <laughs> and I was sad because I knew it, that, that, that the rain might come to an end just like when Undertaker lost finally at to go to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania I knew all know <laughs> and Chelsea when Angie won I know it wasn't the packed how was the was it packed in the audience because I didn't hear much crowd going on there it was very um, empty there was quite a few people yeah really it like packed but there was it was a good showing yes, I didn't hear so much of, uh, it wasn't like Wah! or like mm -hmm. anyway when she won the hardcore fans were there <laughs> when she won when they said it what went through the crowd? Oh, just, it was electric in there. It was just, okay. I mean, I was actually just more focused on Angie and okay. just imagining how she probably feels right now, mm. you know, to take down four-time Miss Olympia, four-time wow. Phoenix winner. Like, I, I think maybe because I get really invested um, with some of my friends, like when I went to Christina, with Christina to Tampa, Oh, Christina. Um, you know, because I was shooting behind the scenes for her all week. I cried when I watched her win because yeah. like I was just so invested. And I think in a way I was kind of like that with Angie too, because I, I know how hard she works and she's very like dedicated and passionate and intense. And yep. so her winning was just, I felt it, you know, mm -hmm. I just, I was very happy for her. Very, very, very happy. JB, give me your emotions when you heard it. Well, you knew the results, but uh, when you <laughs> when you saw it, that was uh, was great. Uh, the the reaction of Angie, um, yeah, says it said it all. Yeah, she was so relieved, and she knew it. And the hard work work paid off. She brought we, you, she told us a story in the last interview, and um, yes, um, it was astounding and. Uh, I did not cry like I tried with uh, Nadia in, in Spain, but it uh, <laughs> um, was great. But um, yes, I was very relieved for her. And I instantly texted her. And uh, yeah, yes. Mm. Great. Yeah. Before JB, we're going to talk a little, end it with a little bit about what Chelsea's doing. I want to now give each thought this historic 60th olympia it's a big deal because it's the 60th it's a long history and we're so happy and proud to have women's bodybuilding being one of the main like now of course we have the open man hardy Derek, who's going to win a uh, classic you know it's everyone knows who's winning uh so now women's bodybuilding is going to get that this is a must see you know a little bit like natalia coelho and sarah got last year yeah. Because they were so invested. Now we have, anyway, women's bodybuilding, Miss Olympia. So we have Andrea Shaw, who lost because of conditioning, but also because Angie was so improved. So even mm -hmm. if Andrea Shaw was peaked, I don't know if that's enough because um, Angie is bigger now and her symmetry is better. And we have Ashley Jones, who did not peak at all, but still got third. And she has seven weeks to get in condition. Then we have Sherry Priami, who told me she's going to be fuller than this. And then we have Aliciona that no one sees, and they seem to disrespect her a lot because she was third. Chelsea, imagine you're three third last year. People don't even know your name this year. Yeah. She's be third. <laughs> That's disrespectful. And yeah. girls who are just posting uh, uh, photo shoots get more hyped than you. And then we have. Christina Nicole coming in after beating a pink Haycock that's sixth in the world, and she's coming in, and she has seven, ten weeks, and Christina is such a... Uh, 
this is what you if they want femininity <laughs> hello uh jb with those six girls specifically how do you see this early predictions i want to hear from you first jb i know this is a little bit we we don't know give me your thoughts what do you think we will see at this olympia amongst those six girls because that's an exciting that's a that's a main event you must see battle yeah so uh yeah don't forget to get your stream yeah olympia don't forget it no. um yes i will look for, forward to it because like you said it you have alcione in it uh i'm very um excited to see hello trevino i'm so oh yeah how we yeah, forgot about <laughs> <laughs> yeah what uh, how dare you forget yeah. also we have holly trevino in there uh, she's coming Sometime. back. She will come back uh, massively, I think. And um, yes, also, um, yeah, this battle. I think this going to be a revenge between Angie and Andrea. This uh, okay was not. Uh, you saw it on the Olympia battle video. It was not just rivalry. It was a little bit more friendshiply, but you saw it. Both take it really serious. Andrea does not like. I don't think <laughs> yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> I don't know if she she's losing big money now to this uh, loss. Yeah. So uh, we'll okay. And also, Chelsea. Um, yeah. Oh, and, sorry, JB. Yeah, sorry. And also, um, yeah, like I said, Alcione, I, I really bet on her because that she will be in the top six uh, because she's going to be she grown a lot. And um, maybe Lavinia Barros. I don't know. Uh -huh. Bro, I hope okay, I have, we'll see. I have great hopes in her. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm really excited about this. Um, yeah, this uh, battle will be, and uh, also, yeah, what um, Hella will bring. And, and so, you better. didn't, you didn't really. Only thing I heard you say now is that you have Angie and Andrea top two, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Chelsea. <laughs> Yeah, and also mentioned... like the, 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 the uh, return of uh, Helen Trevino, of course. We mentioned seven girls. Uh, I even forgot Helen, so I slapped myself four times. Uh, Five times. <laughs> for, you, Andrea, Angie, you see those, correct? Are you asking me? <laughs> you see Andrea and, and, and Helen yes. and Angie, top two? Yes. You know what I would really love to see? I would love to see Andrea really push the conditioning. Yes. And for once and really show up like crispy, you know, I want to see that. Um, so I think I really hope that this kind of pushes her in a different way um, mm -hmm. to really kind of keep that title. It's going to be really exciting. And this is we needed the shake up in the in the division. We needed some new blood and we needed so, like just something new and exciting. And this is what is going to bring the Olympia to the next level. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see Helly come back. I can see her possibly taking third. I don't think top two. Um, Ashley Jones, she's kind of, I'm not quite sure where to place her because I feel like she kind of might get a little bit lost between Hele, um, uh, I can't, uh, who, who took third? I, for, I can't. Alcione, yes. You forgot her Alcione. name again. You I know, I know, I know. So um, <laughs> I think she might get a little lost between Alcyon and Hele. Um, a lot of size in those girls. Yes, a lot of size, a lot of conditioning too. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's really going to be a little tough, I think, for her. And Ashley's also very short, very yeah, short. I so mm. I think that with the taller girls, she also might get a little lost. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think, JB, this will be the ultimate test if Andrea Shaw has that, she's only proven she's a sh the best of the best. But this will be her is she Linda Murray, Iris Kyle level. Oh. We will find out if she has yeah. that type of mindset. Yeah. Obviously, sometimes the, the health, Chelsea, as you know, uh, yeah. especially also with female hormones, and you don't mm -hmm. never know protocols and things can happen maybe sometimes but if she has that iris kyle linda murray mindset that we only seen from a cup this seven weeks will prove if she has that 
or not? Because JB, if she can get healed, even if she loses, she has then proven she has it. And then next yep. year we will see improvements or so right now I am very confident in Andrea Shaw <laughs> for the 2024 Olympia. Uh, Chelsea, yeah. before we go, two things has been happening. Yes. Tremendous size. Can we see the front double? Yes, <laughs> but I do want to warn you. I Can we see the front a, double? I've lost a bit of weight because I barely Go ate on. over the weekend. Can we see the front double? We're in off-season. We reached 220 pounds, was it? I'm, I woke up 210 this morning. Oh, wow. Look at the legs, JB. Do you I see know. what? Here, we'll show you the legs first. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. So, JB, look at the quads. I see. I still got glute line. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, you still Oi. have lines on the glute at 210? Yeah, I do. Um, let's get a let's get a upper body. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And you're eating, Sorry. you're training, but very importantly, it's very important for athletes, especially female athletes who don't get the same prize money as some of the men, sadly, is to find a, a different passion that we can make money on and take it to the next level while they're competing. And for you now, we have seen some tremendous photos. Talk about this new project, a hobby, a goal, a job, profession, what do you want to call it? Talk to us about your, your, your art. Well, you know, all of us women who are in the sport, we want to stay in it somehow, some way, aside from competing. Oh. And I'm just very thankful that I picked up my camera and decided one day, you know what, I want to learn how to shoot this not on automatic mode. So I started watching a ton of YouTube videos and my one of my best friends, Amanda Machado, she was getting ready for her season. So I started following her in the gym, taking pictures of her. And I'm like, wow, like, I fucking love this. Like this yeah. fills my soul. Like, and I've just been obsessed and I'm um, doing absolutely everything I can to learn more and to continue to get better. I'm part, I'm being mentored by one of the best photographers in the, the fitness industry. Wow. Um, I've it? got to shoot backstage for the NPC news online. So all the photos I took over the weekend will be online in a few days, Ooh. which is a huge opportunity like i had to get approved from not only jake and alex at wings of strength yeah. but i had to get approval from the ifbb to shoot yeah. mm -hmm. so for them to allow me to do that was a huge opportunity because i was told that it is very hard to get approved yeah. so so yeah, yeah <laughs> i am, am very thankful and i love that i am able to combine my love of muscle and art and bodybuilding all in one and I just love like showcasing that freaky muscle and the the striations, but in a very artistic, beautiful way. Mm -hmm. And um, the industry is very male dominant when it comes to photographers. And yep. I feel like we need another female photographer like Annie, you know, Annie from Muscle Angels. You're very cute, yeah. Yeah. Um, when I started shooting, I got tons of fans who started messaging me saying that I remind them so much of Annie with my work. And to me, that's a compliment. Yeah, And um, so I'm excited to continue improving and booking photo shoots and shooting my fellow female bodybuilders and women's physique girls, figure girls. Well, get this physique. Let's do bodybuilding. Anyway, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. I, I personally love to shoot bodybuilding because I love that big freaky muscle. I shot Angie yesterday and all oh, the pictures wow. are freaking awesome. Mm. Here, I'm going to just show you just one. Let me just put it up to the camera. Like. Look at it. Hey, can you send us this so we can use it for the puzzle? <laughs> yeah, I can. She's just Ooh, uh, amazing. Wow, look how beautiful she Wow, she looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> yes. So I'm super happy. I can't wait to continue like this career. And hopefully I'm going to be shooting at more shows because that was just so much fun. I was backstage the whole time. Just a huge smile on my face. Getting all the content for all the girls. Like... I took over 5,000 photos that I have to go through. I'm going to send all that I can to the girls because I know that we need as much content as we can get. Yeah. Um, it's not ever really as, you know, we don't get as much, as many pictures taken of us as we want. And it's very rare that we get good pictures of us in our bedazzled suits because they always only take pictures at the prejudging when we're in our plain suits. We spend thousands of dollars on our 
on our bedazzle suits to have no photos in them. So mm -hmm. that was my goal was to help get more content to the girls. And, um, you know, that's, that's marketing for us. We need yeah. more, we need more. How can people, uh, if people want to hire you or use you, yes. um, what are you able to do? And uh, how can they contact you? And uh, are you willing to go everywhere around the world to do this? Or I mean, absolutely. If, you know, funds and stuff are, are right. Um, when I followed Christina at the, the Tampa Pro and I did behind the scenes the whole time, that was absolutely like, that was so much fun. But, you know, there's a price for that because it was a lot of work. Um But yeah, you can uh, reach out to me either on my normal Instagram or my photography page, which is captured by Chelsea Dion. Um, I do gym content. I do glam photo shoots. I do basically anything and everything. I'm I'm willing to do anything. Um, just anyone I can shoot. I love. I want. I want to create art and show help people showcase, you know, their physique and maybe a different way that they never saw it. Yeah. JB, you had two minutes. You said left. So yeah. Yeah, and please. Tell us when you need your photograph, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> JB. <the> videograph, man. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Uh, we, we, got, we, got, we got to go. And Chelsea, uh, one just, thing's very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, JB? A second. Just maybe for the uh, also interested hobby photographs. What equipment do you use? Do you use okay. uh, which, which body? Sony or Canon? Or? Um, I have a Sony a7 III. Yeah. Um, the Sigma, like 20... 21 to 70 lens or 24 to 70, something like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have like a, a strobe light, some stuff like that. So I, I've, I've been making do with what I have and, you know, I'm continuing to get more equipment and stuff. And thankfully I have a lot of friends who are around that I can borrow stuff from. Yeah. Maybe you can ask uh, for Nelson, but uh, he's a Canon guy. <laughs> so uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. uh, we Thanks. wish you, we've seen it now with Christina. She has built her posing thing with joy up to be the biggest. Mm -hmm. We have seen now more girls come into coaching. They're trying. Let's see if someone can break through. But this, Chelsea, you have tremendous talent. And you just said you learn it from yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, just like JB also did. And tremendous. And we will be promoting this as much as we can. Mm -hmm. And we hope all the people out there are willing to uh, give you a help to get more out there. And especially for uh, females, supporting females, then I hope there's some females out there who has jobs for you and other pro league promote, doesn't matter, female, male, for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> just just get out there and we wish you much success in this and you've already proven you have the talent and we wish you great success and yeah. we will see you in Next 2024. Mm -hmm. Big, hard and freaky. And JB, we are... Out. And Chelsea, end it with a... Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Let's see if the recording goes. End it with, end it with something epic. Instagram. Let's and go. And Chelsea, <laughs> are you coming in 2025? Yeah, absolutely. Let's bigger, see the legs better, before you go. Bigger, better, and harder. And let's see the legs before you go. <laughs> Come on. Coming bigger, and she's coming harder than ever before. Yeah. Boom. Two ten, and she got strided glutes. Yes. Boom. And now we are out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>